Hello Scorpio, this is your reading for the 17th to the 24th of October. Hope you're doing well. Let's see what the tarot wants you to know. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune is the first card out. The Wheel of Karma. So, potentially, good luck. See what comes next, though, before we say, your luck is going to be amazing, go to every casino, right before we say that. Not that I ever would really say that. But not that I would ever say not to either. Okay. Y yeah, you don't need a tarot card to let you know that your luck's going to be good. You just need to think that it is going to be good. <laughs> be in the energy of being lucky. Interesting. The Wheel of Fortune and then the Moon. Okay, let's see what's coming next. The Wheel of Fortune, the Moon, and the World. So there is a clear message here of if you have felt like you've had a downturn in luck, if you're someone who f feels like normally you're lucky, you expect to be lucky, and that's changed, could have changed for the last year or two, could have been longer. You are being encouraged by the Moon card to continue on your journey. For a cycle of completion is at hand, is in the future, is coming in. And the woman here on the middle, in the middle, Inside this victory wreath has two wands. So manifestation is here. Also, you do show up in this card as well, Scorpio, in the form of, 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 of an eagle. There. Ah, okay. Being overwhelmed, being in a stuck energy, stuck with choices, or just once you complete out this cycle, the cycle of possibly not so good luck. Then you will have choices of which path to take. What is depicted so well on this card is that there are some things that are really right to choose and some things that aren't. Obviously, what's worth knowing is you do have the victory wreath in one of the cups here. There is also a symbol that kind of represents the tower, a symbol that kind of represents the magician as well. So choose to, com choose to, we make our own luck, choose to complete that cycle if it's not been going the way that you would be hoping for. Choose life. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, it fell out of my hand. Judgment. These uh, people are being woken up from their coffins. So you could say woken up from sort of sleepwalking through life. Into the real. My eyes, they hurt so much. That's because you've never used them before. So I'm going to say it because it is relevant. I did a particular meditation one time, maybe a couple of times over two, three days. It was a long one, and it was a very specific one. With It wasn't just the classic breathing, um, which, is, which is good, breathing to clear your mind, clear your thoughts. But it was actually um, um, a sort of visualization meditation. And some of these colors were coming in so brightly with my eyes closed. And then for the next three or four days after, uh, my eyeballs were aching. Kind of from the color that I was seeing. Color is vibration, color is sound, as well as we live in a symphony of sound. We live from the very beginning, there was sound. That's why music is so powerful. And singing can help you live longer. So they say. I don't disbelieve it. When I heard it, I thought, that makes sense. Wow, victory. And the wreath showing up again. So the world card, wreath. Seven of cups, wreath in the cup. The victory card, victory wreath. So I was right to say victory wreath. <laughs> because when you get the World Cup, that, that wreath around the lady in the middle doesn't necessarily mean victory, not necessarily, but it absolutely definitely does with the Six of Wands showing up. Sorry, I know I'm holding them quite cack-handedly. You would, I'm, I'm in a very tight situation here. It's not, it's not, it's not easy. Being cheesy. Fromage. Fromage. My nan used to have a really big cheese, cheese bowl, cheese plate. It was, it was you know, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Cheese, cheese bin. It was basically brown and ceramic, and it was it had fromage in big letters written on it, and it had a lid, and it was uh, porcelain. China, I don't know. <laughs> and it said fromage. And when I was a kid and I first saw it, I thought, from age? From, from, from what age? Ah, from this age. From the point at when you stare at the fromage. Knight of Swords. So are you being patient enough? Are you being are you trying to be too hasty about things? Are you kind of like this guy? He's really working that horse there. Are you are you overworking your steed? Strength. Self-care. Do you have a self-care routine? Are you taking care of yourself? So that is a mini message of maybe slow down, take a breath. And just take care of yourself. I'm getting a four of swordsy energy on that. Also, I got a chariot energy on that as well. Like rushing too quickly don't rush rush to any destination 
I mean, the turtle wins the race, doesn't he? Out of the hair and the turtle and the toy toys. Eight of Pentacles. The card of working. The card of working on one thing. Not trying to do a million things at once. Not spreading yourself too thinly, but spreading yourself thickly over one wafer. Over one mat sauce. Just the thin, thick. Not thinly on four pieces, but thickly on one piece. That Eight of Pentacles is under the world. So you, you definitely have been working at something. Working quite hard. Possibly working quite hard to... Excuse me. Sorry about that. Possibly working quite hard to free yourself from toxicity, negativity, negative energy, negative people, any potential habits. I'm going to say the word because it has come up underneath the Seven of Cups, any potential addictions. Working quite hard to free yourself from that, Scorpio. It could be just being addicted to watching Supermarket Sweep. It could be that. But it could be something stronger. Because with the Devil and the Seven of Cups right next to each other, touching each other, as above, so below. No, I've never seen it. I saw it with Dale, but um, I don't have a TV anymore, so. Two of Cups. Now I'm just gonna say, because there might be a correlation between the reading, especially if you have Sagittarius as a rising sign or a moon sign, but Sagittarius got the Two of Cups in that exact position, so. Okay, Scorpio? <laughs> okay, Scorpio, blur. Blur, blur. Okay, Scorpio, focus. Okay. Okay. Wounded warrior energy. Have you been wounded by... Has, uh, don't okay. This is this is this is important. Don't listen to, don't listen to what others say. Is what I'm getting. Your victory is bound by everyone has opinions, and the only one that counts is yours. I'm not saying, I'm not saying you should sort of be um, stubborn headed, and just not take on board what people say. Or allow people the space to express it. But really, I mean, one of my favourite songwriters said that in a documentary. Um, Jeff Lynne. Everyone has opinions. But the important thing is, is not to listen to him. Not to listen to them. I think that's exactly what he said. Everyone has opinions and it's important not to listen to them. Not always, I don't think. Be very discerning over where, who you might be listening to. If it's someone you respect, if it's someone you look up to, that's different. Three of Pentacles. Nice. So the nine of wands can mean giving something another go, having another shot, swinging the bat again. Possibly at love. Swinging the bat at love, not at love. Well, we've definitely got the end of something. Although the way it did come out, it did come out in reverse, so just bear that in mind. So that would mean the end of betrayal. The end of literally being uh, betrayed. I was going to say stabbed in the back, but I stopped myself from saying it. Being um, let down. It, it did show up that way.
the end of Wounded Warrior energy. Okay. Let's clarify. Clarify. Is it true that British people take deep in-breaths? Is that true? I'm very funny if it's true, because I can definitely think of a few. I can definitely think of a few. Uh, I've been known to. Now, I only actually do it. I just don't. I, I, that isn't my normal carry on. I might occasionally take one at, in a particular moment to clear my mind of something and refresh, potentially. But I do it a lot when I'm reading. Not so much as when I first started. But to sort of keep on point, if that makes sense. When I feel myself drifting. I see your eyes and they're dripping. And I promised myself I wouldn't sing either. Um, Ace of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune. So be excited about lucky opportunities, lucky chances. Page of Wands with the Moon. C courageous. Being courageous. And knocking down any walls, or jumping over them, or walking around them, or digging under them. Four ways. Four ways of getting past walls. And I'm sure there are others. <laughs> Transmutating your energy and walking right through. Like, 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 like a ghost. Three of Wands. So it looks like maybe a little bit more patience is required to complete out a cycle, to reach the world card being the end of the major arcana, the fool's journey, gets to the world card and starts over. This certain cycle that you're on, maybe, just maybe, maybe a bit more patience required. Five of pentacles on the seven of cups. The loss card being left out in the cold. On the Judgment card, the Queen of Swords. Now, I actually, I like the Queen of Swords. In, in this particular deck, she does have an energy of... Um, Haya. 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 Asan Chop. Wow. The Leo card showing up twice in your reading. This time, it's clarifying the Six of Wands. So you get victory through courage. Yes. So definitely slowing on those reins of that horse. Clarifying the Knight of Swords. The Four of Swords. Definitely chilling out. Getting some rest. I think because you want to complete out this cycle and you need a bit more patience. And you're just kind of desperate to complete it. I, I know I've been there. I've been there. In fact... I hate the word patience. <laughs> Although I'm a very patient person, inc incredibly, I can wait an eternity for. No, I don't want to be waiting too long. Queen of Pentacles, being resourceful, clarifying the strength card. Two of Cups on the Eight of Pentacles. Working towards a situation where you are in the right energy to be ready for the right person. Nine of Wands on the Devil. So, if it is a Capricorn, if you have already had uh, intimacy with a Capricorn, maybe that's the area you should be giving another go at. It's not a message I normally give. Two twos. Some tarot readers read all twos as good. 
That's on the Two of Cups. Two of Wands, clarifying the Two of Cups. So someone is looking for you, looking out for you. Not sort of out for you. Looking for you. Seeking. So you have the Moon card again. So it's not unusual for your energy to be showing up. The Moon card twice, Scorpio, for you, watery energy. And that's on the Nine of Wands that came up. So Nine of Wands twice, Moon card twice. So make sure you, if you feel like you have strayed from that path through fear, get back on it. Because there is nothing to fear. The King of Pentacles, divine counterparts in this reading, King and Queen of Pentacles. Very resourceful and nurturing. On the Three of Pentacles. Teamwork. Working towards something, building something of quality, making something of quality, a quality job. Seven of Wands on the Ten of Swords. Well, that's kind of no surprise to see that there then. So sticking up for yourself with any ne'er-do-wells. And, and just cutting them out of your life. Yeah, re retreating. So if there are negative people who you have been found it hard to let go of, i.e. blocking them, blocking them on your phone, blocking them on social media, blocking... It might be someone who you know quite well, but you know that they're just no good for you. As in, every time you meet them, you feel way, way worse after being in their company for like just maybe 10 minutes sometimes. It happens, it happens. But this... Going through these last few years, this is what we've. This is one of the main things the universe has been trying to tell us. It's been trying to tell us other things as well, like breaking out into new horizons, being enterprising in new ways. That has been definitely one of the strong messages. But equally, don't don't feel bad. Don't feel like you are doing the wrong thing if you are just saying goodbye to people who you think are your friends but they're not don't don't feel bad about that important okay scorpio thanks for being here take care bye